Hey everyone, welcome into the garage, and yes, I'm actually in the garage doing a video for a change. I know that is shocking. I'll give you a moment. Okay, so this is a painting tutorial video, and this really isn't a, this is how you should paint, or this is the right way to paint. It's not that type of video, it's just a video that I'm going to show you step by step, uh, my painting process, what I do, how I do things, the products I use from start to, to finish. And also the focus of this is going to be the bodies. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on is how to paint the bodies. And this will be strictly for airbrushing. I don't do a whole lot of body painting with uh, rattle cans these days. It's pretty much airbrush. So that's going to be the focus of this video from start to finish how I paint my bodies. I hope maybe you can learn something from it. I'm hoping you know, you'll see something I do and you'll be able to apply that to your model building and help you just get a better paint job. So with that, let's get to it and let's check out the products that I use. <laughs> At the right, you can see it goes primer all the way up to clear. So let's get started. My go-to primers exclusively here at the garage are going to be Tamiya's Fine Surface Primer. It's basically my go-to primer for pretty much everything these days. Good stuff. Of course, when I need a red paint job, I use their pink primer. And for white paint jobs or light color paint jobs, I use their white primer. Now, if you want an even better primer than Tamiya, then you can move up to the chain to Mr. Hobby. And they're Mr. Finishing Primers. This is their 1500, which is the equivalent, equivalent to, uh, to me as fine primer, but it's even smoother than that stuff. This is really, really good stuff. And then you have their normal basic primer, the 1000, which is equivalent to, to me as uh, basic gray primer. It is also, it is on the pricey side. Each can of these I pay about 15 bucks each for. So again, it is kind of on the pricey side. Thus, they do cost more than Tamiya. So that's so. If you want to save a little money or you want to use your airbrush, they do offer also offer their primers in ready to mix jars. You have the 1,000 here, 1,500 here, and the 1,500 black surface primer. This stuff I've been using pretty much everything lately for anything that I'm painting black. I've been using this stuff. It's awesome. I love it. I can't get enough of it. I'm going through bottles of this stuff like nobody's business. It's kind of ridiculous. I need to stop using it so much and use other shades of black. But yeah, this is awesome, awesome stuff. I love it. Moving on, uh, we have some Mr. Retard Mild. I basically use this stuff uh, for my clear coats. Moving on, I call this magic in a bottle. That's what it should be called, I think, magic in a bottle, because that's exactly what it is. It is magic. That stuff works. That is Mr. Uh, Hobby, Mr. Color Thinner. That stuff works and thins pretty much everything. I have not found a product or a paint it will not work with. I use it to thin my 2K clear. I use it to, to thin uh, Tamiya paints. I use it to thin Mr. Hobby paints. I've even used it to remove paint from a body. Did not harm the plastic whatsoever. Like I said, it's magic in a bottle. Awesome stuff. Uh, they also have their leveling thinner. And last but not least, we have the clear. This is a TPC global in-house brand restoration shop. This is their 2K clear kit. This is the, the basic uh, starter pack, if you will. You get a pint of hardener and a quart of clear. I've had this for probably a year, year and a half now, and I'm about halfway through the quart, I believe. The pint, I need to get a new one. It's starting to go bad. This is really, really good clear, easy to use. Uh, it has a nice shine without any um, elbow grease, without any polishing or anything, just straight out of the can, if you will, a lovely, lovely shine. It's good for us stock builders like me. It's not a, I don't know if you could, it doesn't have that mild deep shine, if you will, but I think you could get it with a little bit of uh, elbow grease, uh, wet sanding and polishing. For about 40 bucks, I think. So those are the products that I use outside of the paint. So let's get to the bench and get started. And here's the subject we're going to be using for this painting tutorial are paint like pedants. It is the Mercedes Benz 500 SEC from, to me, I have I've had this kit for probably a year, year and a half now, give or take, something like that, and super excited to get it built. I even, I even had the, have the paint for it. I've had the paint for probably just as long as I've had the kit. And I believe this is what I decided on, was Mercedes, the Mercedes Benz Diamond Blue. Let's get this whole thing. Take a look inside, shall we? You know it's a, you know you're building an old to me a kit with the brown box. Take a look at the box. 
in the body. Oops, a little bit of a breakage up there. I'll have to fix that. Overall, there's going to be some cleanup needed on this uh, before we proceed. There's a bunch of uh, mold lines, seam lines on it. Definitely got to get those cleaned up. Gonna have to repair the this front end a little bit. Not a, shouldn't be too big of a deal. Should be able to. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that is the subject for this paint like Peden's painting tutorial video. Let's get started and get the body um, prepped and ready for some primer. So we are with the 500 SCC body and going to get it ready for some primer. Up first, I'm going to remove the panel lines. All right, I think I got all the mold lines, seam lines done, at least. We're almost there. I might have to go over it again, but for now, it looks to be good. We're close to it. So we got to fix that. We'll do that here in a minute. It's kind of hard to tell. I think I need to work on the trunk lid a little bit more, the deck lid a little bit, a little bit more, and then I think it'll be good. Uh, real quick, I'll try to do this real quick without uh, messing it up too bad. We'll see if we can uh, score these panel lines a little bit deeper. Okay, so now that I've got most of the other stuff done, I want to get that front end piece fixed real quick. That broken piece up here in the front, I want to get it fixed. So, um, what I'm going to do...
you know, let the body let, let that sit for a little bit, let it cure up, get nice and hard and strong. Hopefully, hopefully I won't have to come back and try another fix. And once that gets all cured up, I'm going to go back and go over the, some of the areas, the panel, the uh, mold and seam lines, and just make sure I got everything good. And then I will get the body in some primer, and then that's where we'll pick this back up from.